how to use Yorkshire Grit Original correctly. Sanded our piece up to 240 grit. Going to put some cellulose sand and sealer on it. You can use acrylic sand and sealer if you want to, but I'm using cellulose. So we're going to give this a nice generous coat to seal our piece up correctly. Once your piece is all sealed with sand and sealer, making sure you've got a nice even coat on it, make sure there's no dull spots on it, uh, make sure it's sealed correctly. We're moving on to Yorkshire grit. So I'm going to get a piece of tissue, fold it into a nice pad. So we've got something to cushion into. A generous amount of Yorkshire grit onto your cloth and rub it into your piece while the lathe is stationary. Then you can turn the lathe on to about 500 RPM. And you're just going to use the pads of your fingers to gently apply a small amount of pressure just to work in the Yorkshire grit. Keep moving your tissue about to work in the grit. And as you're moving your tissue about, the pumice of the Yorkshire grit will start breaking down and giving you a final grit of around about a thousand grit, which is a nice smooth finish for any wood turn finish. We're just going to spend a few moments working this in and you can see that all the dust is being held into the tissue which is the actual perfect thing about Yorkshire grit that the uh, the product is not floating in the atmosphere the microfibre or the microfine dust is being held all within the tissue so uh, a perfect remedy to prevent dust in the atmosphere that you're not going to be breathing in and also making a lot less mess in your workshop. So we're just going to move that around. Just going to speed the blade up a little tiny bit. Just so we can get the last of this grit buffed out. And you'll feel the grit breaking down on the tissue. I'm just going to keep working that around. Until we get the final bit finished up. Again, just going to keep working that, and this will bring us, like I said, to a nice smooth 1000 grit. Spend a little bit of time, spend three to four minutes just working that grit in. If you get a lot of heat between the tissue and your fingers, and you're pushing too hard, you've got too much friction on there, and too much pressure, you just want to be gently letting the tissue do all the work. And as I say, you can see all the all the sawdust, all the dust is being held in our tissue. So what we're going to do is get a clean bit of tissue. We're going to do this exactly the same. We're going to fold it into a nice little pad. And we're going to use this to buff off all the grit. So again, hardly any pressure at all. Just rely on the friction of the tissue. Just to take off that excess of the grit. And what you're looking for is, once your tissue comes off clean, you know you've removed all the excess grit off the piece. So you can see there we've got some dirt already on there. So we're going to turn our tissue and we're going to do it again. We're going to keep doing this until the tissue comes off clean. So again, it's come off dirty. So we're going to fold the tissue the other way. We're going to do it again. Just got a little fine trace there now, so hopefully this should be our last one. So there we go, a little bit more, so let's just do it one more time. Keep turning the tissue to you so you've got a clean piece.
There you go, tissue's all clean now, look. So we know we've got all the excess grit off. Now there's your finish. Now that's a nice smooth 1000 grit finish. Now that's ready for your final finish. Yorkshire grit isn't a finish, it's an abrasive paste. So now you can apply your chosen wax over the top of that uh, to bring it up to a nice, smooth, shiny finish. Hope it helps.